and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Normally today's video would be a talk about it Tuesday, however I didn't have time to get around to filming it, so I am just going to be doing a normal video today. From the title you guys can see that I am just going to be showing you guys my jewelry collection because I recently got a new jewelry cabinet and I wanted to share it with you guys. Also I'll have the link to the particular one that I have linked down below for you guys. It is just from Amazon which is really convenient because if you are an Amazon Prime member you get free two day shipping. Also the only assembly you're required for this is either putting on the hooks to hang it on a door or mounting it to the wall. It comes in a huge box all assembled for you which is nice and I've been wanting something to store my jewelry in for the longest time and I finally found the perfect storage option and so with that being said let's get started. So this is just an overview of what the front looks like. It has a full length mirror which I really like and then another great feature is that it actually locks and has keys so right now you cannot open it and another one of the great features of this is that when you do open it there are six LED lights up at the top that come on and it just runs off three AAA batteries. They are not included though and then this is just the overview of it when it is open. As you guys can see there is a ton of room for jewelry storage. On the back panel you get a bunch of slots for rings. As you guys can see, it's not even close to being full. There are 12 hooks for necklaces, a shelf right here, which I'm going to see if my perfumes will fit in, another shelf, another shelf, another shelf, another shelf, and then two little drawers. And then on the open part of it, there is, I believe, 40 slots to put posts into these holes, and then I believe 90 slots for earrings to just sit in, as you guys can see. There's a bar to put bracelets on. There are 12 hooks down here that are closer together, and then above that, there are 10 hooks that are a little more farther up part and on these you can put either bracelets or necklaces or really whatever you wanted to and I just use these for the overflow of my jewelry and now I'm just gonna go through and show you guys each individual section so up here I obviously just have all my rings and what I really like is that when you put the ring in there is a little piece that it actually attaches to and they stay in place and no way do I have a lot of rings but just to show you guys there are three empty rows right here and then obviously these ones aren't even full moving down a row I just have all of my necklaces. These are the ones that I wear the most often. And these two right here are actually from Etsy and I will have them linked down below for you guys. This one is just in the shape of a Jack Russell and it says Abby on it who was my dog. I will have her videos linked down below. And then this one is just a semicolon one and it says I have so much left to say. I have a Sentos necklace which I will also leave down below that I absolutely love. This is my Tiffany & Co necklace. My pearls I got for my 21st birthday. An Ivory Ella necklace. There is nothing on this shelf because I am going to see if my perfumes fit. However, I just didn't have time to do it yet. This one just has my open cuff bracelets. This is another one from Etsy. And on the inside, it just says, once by my side, forever in my heart. And then it has a paw print and Abby's name on it. This is my mantra band. And it says, I can and I will. And I got that for graduation. And then I just have two bracelets from a random company. Down, I have my grandmother's mirror. And it's one of the sentimental pieces that I have and love. I have my nose rings. Moving down, I have all of my My ID bracelets. And I will leave the link to my ID down below as well as the video that I talked about what my ID is. Then the bottom shelf has nothing on it. This first drawer just has some random earrings and then the second drawer has just a bunch of random things. I have a guitar pick that I used to open my Pandora bracelet. I have a ring stopper and then an earring stopper. And then moving over to the other side, this is just the top part with the earring holes. Up here, I just have my three single earrings that I use for my mid cartilage. This row has nothing on it. And then right here, I have just all of my triangle shaped earrings. These ones are all like different shapes, like stars, squares. I have some cross earrings and then a bunch of random ones. And then down here are all my round ones. These ones are a double sided earring and there's actually a pair missing that should be right here, but I can't find them. And then again, a bunch of round earrings and I am missing one. I have no idea where it went. I have my Kendra Scott white Howlite earrings. These are just the L style and I love them. My hoops and then a random pair of blue earrings from Forever 21. And then I have all of my bracelets. All of these ones right here are Alex and Ani and these ones are a mixture of knockoff Alex and Ani ones. This is just a bracelet from Stella and Dot and then this one was a necklace from Etsy that I will leave down below and it just has the semicolon and then when you open it up it says my story continues but I put it on a bracelet and then I just have this heart bracelet. And then the last portion of my jewelry is right here, and this is kind of just like the overflow section. I just have one of those tattoo chokers, a flower necklace from Forever 21, my Italian charm bracelet that I got in Florida when I was in 8th grade, and my grandmother got it for me. 
I have my pearl bracelet that my cousin got me from India. And then lastly, I have my Pandora bracelet, which is really special to me because my grandparents and my mom have all helped to get all these charms for me. And I am hoping to one day fill it up. And if you guys would like me to do an entire video all about my charms, be sure to let me know because I can definitely do that. Also, I want to mention that I do have an Alex and Ani bracelet collection down below. So if you want to see which ones I have, you can go watch that. I have mine mounted to my door. It is just on hooks like this, like a hanging mirror would be. But it also comes with the stuff to mount it to the wall. I just like having it on my door a lot better. And I do want to show you guys that, that I do not have an issue with opening my door at all. It opens completely. Literally, my only complaint with this is that the magnets aren't really that strong. And I definitely think they should have used stronger ones. Most of the time, I end up having to just lock it so it doesn't swing open. But because of the lack of strength in the magnets, it comes open really easily. And sometimes when I open my door, it'll just open on its own. But that is literally my only complaint. So that is just my jewelry collection for you guys. I hope you like this video. Like I said, I absolutely love this jewelry armoire. It is one of the best things I've ever gotten. I love how easy it was to set up because I literally just had to put screws in the back that came with it along with the hooks to hang it on the back of my door. I like that it has the option of locking it, that you can store all your jewelry and how simple it is. If you guys would like to see more videos like this of my makeup collection or certain collections, be sure to let me know in the comments down below because I can definitely do that. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!